I can summarize that into three words, biomarkers, biomarkers, and biomarkers. That's, that's what we need. We need something that we can, for example, make a blood analysis or a CSF analysis and have a profile that is very determinant of the diagnosis. And we don't have that. So that's a summary of what we need. Because even, even the neuroimaging techniques that sometimes uh, you can look at the imaging in a patient like an MRI and see some of the classical modifications that you can see in some of these atypical disorders, uh, but that is not always present. And it's not always present at the beginning. And it can appear very late in the course of the disease. So when we face the patient for the first time, we do an MRI and maybe we cannot find any, any anomalies in the MRI. And if we repeat the MRI two, three or four years later, then we can find that they have these modifications that can lead us into the diagnosis. So none of the studies that we perform are 100% sure in making a diagnosis.